I never became numb to it. I would pause and show respect. Well, the pandemic through the eyes of first responders, the confusion, the heartbreak, and the hope they've been through over the past year. Now at 4.30, paying tribute to local health care workers one year into the COVID pandemic. Now, we're all looking at a brighter future as more people get vaccinated, but we cannot forget the medical workers still fighting on the front lines. So here's a look at what they experienced and how they're doing now. I'm a trauma physician. I've seen a lot of death in my career. But Dr. Victor Waters, chief medical officer at St. Bernardine Medical Center in San Bernardino, says nothing compares to the pandemic. It was an experience of all hands on deck. We didn't even know what we were actually dealing with. It was like fighting the invisible man. All the healthcare workers had to adapt constantly. A decision that we made at 8 a.m. may not be relevant anymore at 1 p.m. We were seeing people die left and right, and we just... We didn't know what to do. We didn't even have the space in our in in the morgues for people. In my office, uh, at times, I've had to see racks of um, of patients that are in in body bags stacked because we had so many deaths at one time. I think of the nurses that had to hold patients' hands at the bedside because their family members couldn't be there. It's nothing that has been more impactful to everyone's lives as this COVID epidemic. Looking back, healthcare workers say even though it has been a sometimes very dark and desperate journey. There certainly was um, a very tough period where we didn't know what the current treatments are. We were trying different things, modalities, and doing everything we can to keep people safe and alive. And many people were saved thanks to the knowledge, the skill, and the sacrifices of our healthcare heroes. People feel very proud of what they've accomplished. Thankful for the appreciation. Well, one thing it shows is true character of our medical community. I can tell you there are heroes. And many of those frontline workers tell us that support from the community continues to lift their spirits during this ongoing battle against COVID. All right, the little things, Kathy, thank you.